So what's up everyone, my name is Manu Wong and I'm a photographer and videographer down here in Los Angeles, California. Right now it is the summer, so I am planning to do a lot more shoot. Now, even though there's a lot of daylight, I do also prefer to shoot at nighttime sometimes. What can I do with that is to do creative lighting. And today I got two new products that's gonna help me to get some creative lighting. So I am so excited to tell you about. So let me show you what I got. First up, we got this. This is the Cinepure C100 RGB light. Now this light is crazy. First of all, this is the combo package. It is quite heavy and I'm quite excited to show you guys what it's like. Oh, this is C. Now, I do not know what's in here, but let's take a look. <laughs> now, this is the five ray series. So they are like two bar. Let's see what we got in here. Very similar to the F100, which I'll talk about in just a second. There is a, a modifier that you can use. There's a little pouch that you can put, you know, the power supply through and there's a little hole at the bottom so you can, you know, if you want to. This side, you got a USB-C cable and a little diffuser you can attach on. Okay. Right here, there is a mount. And then right down here, there's power supply and also plenty of room for you to do other stuff. Now, let's look at the light itself. This is the light. Ooh, this light is huge. So this is the first time I'm seeing this just like you did. Interesting. It is quite hefty, but this is something really special because this is a 100 watt light, but not just any 100 watt light. This is a 100 watt full color. So the brightness from this is insane. Like you do not usually get any handheld light at this caliber. All right. So just like all the Xenon lights, you could choose different modes. There's CCT, there is CCT HSI, RGB, FX Pixel, so this is like different effect, FX, there's music, and then there's the manual. Look at this, you know what, I need to, this thing is so bright, I should turn it down just to show you uh, what this means. Okay, I'm at 1% now. So I'm not sure you can see, but there are colors that changes from this. To show you how crazy bright this is, we're gonna show you green. Because green, for some reason, is the easiest light uh, that can produce the highest luck. So let's give that a try. So zero is red. So this should be green at 120. All right, let's try 100%. <laughs> yeah, this definitely feels brighter. I am completely blown out. At one meter, 1,750 lux on just green if you're not using color of course now some of you of course want to use it just for like normal light tube i am worried how bright this is gonna be at 4200 kelvin this thing is over 3800 lux at one meter like it is blinding <laughs> this is something that's really cool i really want to try out especially to see how much color i can employ with this now let's talk about price for the standard version, this light is 299, which is not too bad. And if you want to get a combo, which is what I have here, it is 399. But overall, this I think is a pretty good price. And yes, the barn door comes with both version too, so don't worry about that part. Now, let's say this is still too pricey for you. I got something else for you. So let's say you want to look for something that's a little bit cheaper, or you don't need something as bright. There is also this new light from Xeon. This is the Snip here. CF100. It's like a little brother of, you know, the other lights over here, the C100. So, let's open this up. All right. So, this is the light. This light is only $179. So, it is a lot more affordable. So, I got it. Okay. It is very similar to the F100. The 5 ray F100, which again I will talk about in just a second. It has this barn door that comes with it and inside of it, and that's pretty much most of it. You have a little bag that you can carry it with your light. You also have a diffuser. Um, and of course, you also have a USB C cable for you to charge the lights. But that's 
pretty much most of it. And of course, the packaging is also a lot smaller. Uh, it's also lighter too. It's a very obviously lighter. But the uh, layout is very similar to what you have from there if you have used the vibrate lights before. So let me see if I can turn it on right now. So at max power, this is 1370 lux. Again, it's already very, very bright. But if you want to, you can actually overclock it by just one press of button, very similar to other Xenium products. And now you have over 2600 lux on this light. It is, again, super bright. And this is also a full RGB light. So if you want to, you can go to HSI with a press of button. And now, as you can see, this is red. And if I want to, you know, change it up a little bit, uh, I can change it a different color. It's kind of hard for you to see because, you know, it is so bright. But as you can see, I'm down in for different colors. You can see how it changes on my face. And like most light this day, there is a FX button. So you can choose between like different stuff. Like for example, this is a TV mode. Uh, or you can choose to lightning. You can do like um, some of that very popular would be like a fire mode. So you can like, you know, have some fire flickering. Uh, being an RGB light, it also have other effects that make use of the RGB. So right now, this is like a pixel light kind of color. You can see how the lights are changing into different colors on different parts of the light. In CCT mode, at 100%, this light lasts about an hour. If you go for maybe 50%, then you can go up to two hours. And if you try to do max mode like this, you can actually use it for at least half an hour. So that's still plenty of time. I don't see myself using this light at that brightness often, if ever. But if you want to, it is an option. You can always plug in power so that it can you know, make it last as long as you, know, you have it plugged in. The good thing again is that these are all internal lights with battery inside. Now, as I said before, one thing they did actually compare themselves with is this, which I highly appreciate. This is the 5-ray F100. This is a light that I've been using for a while, for quite some time. When I first came out, I've already been using it. And again, as I said, the light is very, very similar. But be them being actively compared themselves to their own lights, meaning they are spending time and effort to actually to see how they can improve their own product. The light itself is very similar, right? Like you're seeing these two lights, they are pretty much the same light. The color of this is a little bit different. It's a little bit grayish, and this is more of a white color. But as you can see, very similar lights, height with the same size, even like the, you know, the pattern on the side are like exactly the same. So, you know, they are definitely making a huge improvement of this light. And they're telling you, hey, yeah, we make our light better. And we are, you know, want to show you that what kind of uh, improvement we have done since this, which again, I highly appreciate that does, you know, absolutely their own products, but meaning they're, you know, putting efforts, putting trust in their own products, that their new stuff are going to be even better. So with all that said, let's go try to do a, a photo shoot with those lights and let's see what kind of fun stuff we can get. Let's go. All right, now we're gonna do some photo shoots. We're gonna try out how powerful the C100 and the CF100s are. And we're gonna see like if we can use different color to create dramatic lighting and also for a fun effect. But today I have Lena Lemon here. We're gonna do some Tifa photo shoots. It's gonna be really fun. We're gonna get some great photos, but let's check out how it turned out. All right, now we got some shot with the red light. I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. I'm gonna try to switch it to green, which is the brightest colors you can get. I forgot what's the lux number, and you look at the charts again. But green usually is the one that can produce the brightest light. But even then, I was only using 50% at red, so I feel like I don't even need to use that much. But maybe we'll try. You know what, let's go 100% green. Let's see how it looks. So this is a trick that I've used in many of my photo shoots. If I'm very undecisive and I don't know what color I want, or if I want to try out different colors just to get more shot, I'm gonna switch my lights on hue loop mode. What that means is that it will cycle through different colors so that when I take a bunch of shots, it will go through those lights and I can have a combination of lights.
All right, thank you for watching. The F100 and the FC100 are great lights. They're handheld lights with internal battery and full color and so bright. And this photo shoot has been a blast. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. Yeah, down below to see what you want to see more. All right, that's it. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye.